Hey, Maple Sea Pipe Cast. How are y'all doing tonight, tomorrow, yesterday afternoon, the second Thursday of last week? It's that time, Syndicated Pipe Club, once again. And if you happen to be just watching on the Dr. Alien blog at dralien.wordpress.com, then, hey, I'm glad to see you. Welcome to YouTube and what I'm doing here. All right, so as you got from the weird intro, this is an episode of Maple City Pipecast, Syndicated Pipe Club, and just something I'm throwing up on the Dr. Alien 201 YouTube channel, where I usually post my videos for, um, what do I usually post there? My Minecraft videos, that's right. I am technically a Minecraft YouTuber, but that is not for discussion today. Today, what we're looking into is pipes and pipe tobacco, just like the olden days when I used to do this for, well, I wouldn't say a living, but for fun. It was my hobby. It still is my hobby, just not as talked about on the internet. All right. So there is something that has brought me out of retirement. But first and foremost, what am I smoking and what am I smoking it in? So if you can see here, I've got a nice, I like to call it a volcano, but I am not 100% sure that's what it's called. Could be a brandy. It doesn't really matter. It's a good pipe. I love this pipe. And if you can make out the nomenclature right there, no, you can't. For those who can't see the video, it looks like words, and it is words. But what it is, is a, the a Country Squire wall pipe. That's right, from John David Cole's shop in Jackson, Mississippi. And in it, I will be smoking some... Oh, glare. I um, just that this is how you know, folks. I have been away from the video space, like the talking head video space, for a while, because I used to have it set so no glare happened. But what you can't read, or you might be able to make out if I hold it just the right way, is that this is Country Squire tobacco, and it is Cherokee. And if you can make that out there, it's from 2020, so it's got a couple of years on it. But also. I'm almost out. I thought I was going to be out. And, and, that, and that really brings us to the reason I'm here tonight. Or tomorrow. Or yesterday afternoon. Or in the morning. At breakfast three weeks from now. I, I don't know. Time traveling podcasting. You know, it just is what it is. Let me light this up and we'll get to the point. Yes, I know, sacrilege, I'm using a freaking lighter, but I don't have that kind of time anymore. So, here is the story. If you are in the pipe smoking community and you happen to be a fan of One Country Squire Radio, you know that episode 500 is upcoming. And depending on when I get the time to get this all put together, it may already be out, or at the very least already recorded. Um, Country Squire episode 500. What can I say about it? It's going to be the last one. And, and, and I'm sure most of you, if not all of you, are aware of this. That's why the Country Squire pipe. That's why the Country Squire tobacco. That's why the return to the pipe space for this episode, at least. Now, I'm not going to say that I'm going to come back to the space. Uh, I, I've, things have changed for me since I have been on air uh, at any, any point in time. Um, I, I have a full-time job working at a body shop. I'm the parts guy. And I, I make, I'm making, I'm making a living. Let's just put it that way. I'm making a living. I mean, we're, there's no short of work. Um, but that, that does mean my um, editing time that I don't have uh, any of anymore is really short. Like, almost non-existent. I just finished up a series on uh, Dr. Alien 2 on one channel. 
on YouTube from Batcraft, uh, another inspirational thing, uh, uh, brainchild of Bo York. Um, I just finished that up, and it, it just comes down to the fact that, well, I could only barely just edit one video a week, and there are a few times in there that I didn't make that. So, and including the most recent one, the last episode was two weeks after the the second last episode. But you know, I got fifty or sixty uh, videos up there for that. But you know, I, I just don't have the time necessary to concentrate on a pipe tobacco podcast or a pipe tobacco YouTube channel the way you should be able to put. Uh, you, you know, the, the, what the the way you should be able to put yourself into it, right? But I can come back. For this episode, I have to come back for this episode because I am so disappointed that I can't be in Jackson in a couple of weeks. There's a couple of reasons for that. One, um, I have four kids, so my wife, I think, you know what? No, I was going to say my wife, I think, would you know have a conniption fit if I went to Jackson for episode 500 of Country Squire Radio, and no, no, she wouldn't. She would just say, yeah, go, I'll be fine, and then have a nervous breakdown while I'm gone, and then I'd probably get a call while I'm at the Country Squire. It, it, yeah, yeah, it, it's just a big snowball effect. Thank God she doesn't watch these, or I'd be in so much trouble right now, especially since I was just convincing her that she has her parenting under control. I'm, I, I just, of course, I just, of course. My wife's great. She knew I was getting things ready to record this episode for tonight, and it, it, it's just, it is what it is. I, I love my wife. She's great. Yes, I know I don't sound, I, I'm very deadpan in the way I sound about things, but believe me, I'm very passionate about my wife and her feelings and all that good stuff. <coughs> Ooh. Old cigarette habits just came back there, and I inhaled. I, I don't recommend it. I don't. Don't inhale. That hurt. Mmm. Anyway. Wow. Inhaling. Ooh. Episode 500, Country Squire Radio, Why We Are Here. The final episode. The ultimate ending. The... The big goodbye, the final farewell. I'm done. Um, yeah, like we all knew this had to come to an end. Bo and John David have been doing this for ten years, and they've been keeping it, you know, mostly within in the realm of of things. You know, you know, there's, there's been the occasional episode. You know, they, they, they've been brought up and talked about. And they're Ewoks, uh, for one. Um, Barbecue pairings, you know, it's just, it's, it's a thing. It's a thing. <laughs> the funny thing is, um, speaking of the barbecue pairings, like, I just started out um, Maple City Pipecast uh, not too long before the barbecue pairings had become a real point of contention with the Country Squire community. I was a new member. Um, I just started out doing a five-minute daily podcast. I was just getting into the space. And, and this thing happened, and... I I I listened to the episode where it first happened and the second episode where it second happened and, and so on for a couple of weeks. And finally, I decided to put my voice in the ring and I made an episode about how John David should allow that to happen. And, you know, I sent it to Bo. I did. And I, and I, got, a, I, got, a, I got a response back. And it was just like, you know, a guy doing this meme. But... uh it, it was funny. Um, what else? There, there's, there's, I do have a lot of fond memories just from uh, my interactions with Country Squire Radio and Bo and John David. I, I haven't interacted directly with John David at any point in time, aside from when I was picking this pipe, and that was all done through email. Uh, I never called the shop or anything for that, but I did email when um, I heard them talking about uh, wall pipes in an episode. I said, hey, John David, or Country Squire, whoever reads this at the Country Squire, um, I'd like to uh, get one of your wall pipes because, well, I heard you talk, uh, being talked about on, on the show, and, you know, it, it, yeah, I could get this, this, I could get a pipe, you know, 
a wall pipe here from the local place, but this is from the Country Squire in Jackson, Mississippi. I can't get that here. So we went back and forth. John David emailed me a few pictures with like a bunch of pipes in it as I was looking for a straight one. I had plenty of bent. And uh, this is the one that stood out to me. And uh, he sent it along. I paid for it. I won't tell you how much it cost me because exchange and duty and all that stuff. But I'll tell you this much. It was more than, you know, the $50 you pay in the Squire if you live in Jackson. But it was worth it. It's a great pipe. I love it. John David helped me pick it out. He sent it to me. He had the note. He signed the note, the whole nine yards. It was great. I love it. And that's why I'm smoking this pipe tonight with Cherokee because mm, it's it's just a good aromatic. I'm I'm more of an English guy. I have been for the whole time. But, you know, I, I do love uh, having an aromatic every once in a while. And uh, the Cherokee is just great. And since some of you can't see the, uh, since you can't see the video, I mean, you're, you're listening on the podcast, most likely, uh, a lot of you, um, it just is what it is, you know? Uh, but anyway, I can tell you almost exactly when I, how long I've been a Country Squire radio listener. Almost exact. Oh, I don't have it on here. It should be, an, oh, bummer. I must have. Okay, well, I started supporting Country Squire Radio's Patreon not long after I started listening because it was it was a show that I liked and it was teaching me stuff and answering my questions and whatnot. So it, it was lots of fun, and I, I thought the work was being done well. I mean. Uh, Bo, of course, being the, uh, the consummate professional, maybe not then, but the consummate professional, uh, he um, was doing a good job with, it, with the production. I think it was just him producing at the time. It was about three to four years into Country Squire Radio when I started uh, listening. And I'm, I'm just looking up on my phone. I have it here because I saved this. Yeah, there it is. It's just not on my computer one. Um, I joined uh, the International Pipe Club when it first came out. I wasn't the first member, but I was in the first 100. And I got this in November of 2017, and I started listening maybe about six, uh, four, I'd say about June. So about four to five months ahead of making the decision to um, support the show on Patreon, or started, I started listening. <laughs> I'm, I'm tripping over my words, but you, you understand what I'm trying to say, I'm sure. If you don't, I'm part French. Leave me alone. Tabernacle. All right, now I know I was going to show you that on 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 the on the video, but it just didn't work out. So sorry about that. But I, I've been supporting Country Squire Radio for quite a long time, and, and I'm going to miss miss it. I mean, I really am. Uh, but yeah, it was through that that I was able to first hook up with Bo. I I did uh, when John David got married. I uh, was one of the patrons that was lucky enough to uh, get in on that first uh, on that episode. You know. Where John David, you know, we, we did a thing, and it was for John David and and Nina, um, for you know, getting married and congrats and all that all that good stuff, and and both something Bo wanted to do, and I I was lucky enough to be able to get in on that, and I I, I had just started uh, Maple City at the time, and and, and Bo called, and I was using like um, I was using like a, a really bad headset, and a bad headset mic, and I I wasn't sure, I was just starting out. I was using what I had available to me, and it, it, the sound, well, it was horrible. It wasn't working out. I was trying to do it on my laptop upstairs in the kitchen because at the time we only had my one son, and he was only a couple of years old, and Netflix was going, and I just wanted to be where he could, you know, come get me if he needed and whatnot, and it didn't work out, and 
I had to go down from the from the laptop to the to the basement where I where I currently am, and I had to uh, do it that way. But the, the bow just could not get a good sound, and it was on my end. It was always on my end, and uh, we weren't able to do that. So what I did was I recorded a special episode of Maple City Pipecast and sent that to Bo, and he put that in the episode, which was really cool. I, I enjoyed that, and I, start, I think that was the start of how Maple City and whatnot started getting listeners. And that's not why I did it, but I was really grateful for the shouts out. I guess I got a couple after that, and uh, it, it was really cool. And I uh, was able to uh, do that, and... I've sent in listener feedbacks every once in a while. You, I'm, if you've been listening to the most recent episodes, the ones listening up, li- coming up to <laughs> to uh, uh, the end, w- one of my stories is in there. I'm not going to tell you which one. I'm not going to tell you which episode, but it was it was it was nice for me. I really appreciated it because I wasn't sure that one was going to make it. As I sent it, uh, I don't remember exactly how long ago I emailed it a while back and I wasn't sure and it would have been okay if it didn't make it in but Bo got it in there it was really great fun and I for me it was I chuckled when I heard it and and I appreciated the sentiment because uh, honestly just to, to pull the curtain back a little bit I had basically sent in my own uh instructional on how to smoke a certain tobacco with what to do it, it was you know just just a layman's type thing and and then and, and uh they uh accepted that and, and they're really gracious and, and I really appreciated it. That's that's awesome that they did that, so <laughs> it was cool. But yeah, that's been the majority of my right my uh my interactions with uh, with John David. Um Bo I have interacted with quite a bit before and in this and by quite a bit, you know, like he knew I was doing a show. I, I reached out and I asked him for an interview, and he he gave it, and he he then he did another one for me, and that was awesome. He did a couple, and uh, but you know we've we've been involved in a few things, uh, in a few online meetings during COVID and, and and whatnot, and we've been in the same places, and so and and, and I mentioned Batcraft. I mean that's his baby from a uh, uh, Flash TV Talk or TV Talk or whatever you want to call it at this point, but. Uh, that was fun too, so I, you know, I got to work with him there and on content there. It was, and that was that was also cool. As a as a fanboy, that was <laughs> that was a great moment. Um, almost almost like uh, working with your hero. Not really. Don't let it go to your head that I said that, Bo. Do not. I I will I will deny it and deny it and deny it because you're yeah yeah. As honestly honestly. Let's 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 be honest here. I don't want to detract from anything. As far as doing stuff like this, Bo has been a real inspiration to me because I was able to listen. And even through the live shows, when I started out with Maple City Pipecast, I was able to watch when he started doing uh, doing the shows from Pottery Studios. I was able to see the equipment. I was able to see how things were set up. I, I every so often I noticed him looking at something uh, off to the side. Sort of like you might see me do every once in a while now, where I, I'm just checking the audio forms over here on a screen you can't see. But uh, it, it's just one of those things. I was able to learn and grow my quality from watching the live shows that were on YouTube on the Country Squire Radio. Uh, YouTube channel and and Bo was a big a big proponent of that and then he did a TED talk that I listened to it was it was just amazing to learn how to be in this industry even as a hobbyist not a professional and put out quality and put out you know a good show that people like to listen to I mean. I don't know. I, I, I the shows as if your listeners new or old, and you're coming back as oh my gosh, what that showed up on my feed? I thought I unsubscribed to this channel. Like, yeah, I, I'm, I'm sure some of you are out there like that. I, but 
hey, I, I don't care. I, I'm, I'm doing this for to appreciate the work that John David and Bo have done. And honestly, I wish I could get to Jackson, guys. I do. I, I'd love to be there. But a couple things in my way. I'm recording this now um, on the 16th of February during my week off. <laughs> And I'd already booked this week off, and then it was announced that the show was ending and the big blowouts happening at the Country Squire, and I couldn't change anything. And it just is what it is. I'd already booked the time, made plans, some plans with the family. Uh, it, it just is what it is, and, and, and I and I get that. I know, there, I know you guys who who are going to be there are going to have a great time, and I will be there with you. In spirit. Okay. I, I, I've been rambling a little bit, and, and, and that's all well and good. This is all totally off the cuff. I don't have any scripting. I, I just decided I was going to do this, and I was going to do it tonight. And that's, that's what I'm doing. What else? What else can I? What else can I say? Um, it's been, it's been a ride. I seven, not seven years, six years of hanging out virtually with Bo and John David, and uh, yeah, things are changing. But but we all know, we all know, like it has to end in somewhere. All the shows end at some time. This one ended and it come back and then it ended and it come back and then it ended for a year and now another episode's coming out. <laughs> but it's it's a good reason. Um Yeah, I I I just don't know. Like I'm going to sit here from this this point. I'm going to I'm going to enjoy the remaining tobacco in this pipe. I'm going to reminisce about the good times that I've had listening to Bo and John David. I'm going to remember everything that I can remember with fondness and a special place when I smoke this pipe. And when it comes down to it, it's, it's one of those things where yeah, I'm not eloquent. I'm not. Ah, uh, I I don't I don't have the words. I don't have the words. <clears throat> but when I think of Country Squire Radio, it will always be with fondness, and it will always be with some some joy that the back catalog is always going to be there, whether it be accessed on Audible, on Google Podcasts, whatever, wherever you find your podcasts and you're a new pipe smoker, Country Squire Radio is there for you. It will be, it will be there. It always will be there. And, and that's what matters. It is a show that is still relevant even today with some of the older stuff. But you know what? I, I think at some point, I'll probably go, hey, I miss Bo and John David. I will probably end up at some point going back, starting at the earliest possible episode that I can get a hold of, and I'll just listen through the run again. Because there's, 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 there's an intrinsic nostalgia that's built into podcasting, if you think about it. These things, we, we digitally record them, and they're out there. You, you can get them. Even this. This will be out there. And I, I don't know what the internet ar archaeologists of the future will think when they stumble across this. They'll probably think I'm an inarticulate baboon, but it's going to be there for anybody who cares to listen. And for those of us that have enjoyed Country Squire Radio all these years, it will still be there. John, David, and Bo will still be there. We'll be able to go back in time and listen as 
John David gets married again, and he has his first kid, and, 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 you know, and, and buys a squire, and all those things will still be there. And we can go back and we can relive the good times anytime because it's digital. It's there. And, and that's the takeaway. Country Squire Radio will always be there. Anyway, um, as far as the sign out goes, I don't have have a sign out uh, ready to go because, like I said, I, I, I I'm not going to be back next week, I, so I can't say see you next week like I used to. I'm I might not be back for three years. You, you don't know. But know this: like Country Squire Radio, Syndicated Pipe Club, Maple City Pipecast. They're out there on YouTube, on on your podcasters. Y- you can see me next week if you want to, just like Country Squire Radio. But again, go back, listen to Country Squire Radio. Enjoy. Bo, John David, thank you so much for the 10 years of content that you have gifted us through your hard work, your dedication, and sheer love of the hobby and the community thanks for watching and listening everybody have a good day